What is up all you lovers and haters out there and welcome back to another Valentine's Day special. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there. I'm here with my pillow wife as usual. Cutest couple on the internet. Um, and today, uh, as is tradition on the Captain Oates show for Valentine's Day, we're going to play some romancy games. <clears throat> I'm just going to get... Chuck that bitch on the floor. So, come along, guys, and let's uh, get romantic. Um... So, uh, not sure where to put myself here. First game is called Doodle Date. <clears throat> it's got a nice little soundtrack there. So let's get us a date, guys. Hold up. Let's move myself up here for now, so you can all read. Summer vacation ended, and as usual, I remained single throughout it. No summer flings, no beach parties, just me and a whole lot of TV and video games. Next. Ugh, I don't care. Even blah blah blah. Hey there! Hey, it's Claire! Everyone knows Claire. One of my old drawings. I'm a pretty, pretty good illustrator. I don't care about the story, I just want to get on the dates. Welcome to Creator, to Doodle World. Uh, the, the place where all your wonderful creations come to life, including me. Wow, wow, wow! Thanks for that, enjoy existing, that's good. I'm kind of a god here. Draw your favorite fruit. <sighs> mm, this is gonna be a tough one, guys. Favorite fruit. I think I like... Mm, mango. So that's a mango. Yep. Wow, that looks delicious. Sure does, dude. Sure does. Have a bite. Take a bite of that mango. I do. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay. Professions. Alright, draw up draw your dream date. Okay, this is this is the big one, guys. We're gonna have to put all our creative skills into this. <clears throat> okay. So I'm just gonna start by focusing on the things that are most important to me. So everyone loves a good set of eyes. So we're just gonna give her a nice big set of eyes. It'll come down like this. Already looking pretty beautiful. And then we'll give her big pupils. Because the bigger the pupil, the more conventionally attractive you are. Um, so then I'm just going to... Um, color the eye in. I'm gonna leave a little bit um, uncolored there so you can get some shine. So we got a little light source coming in from the side here and that just makes them all uh, glistening and pretty. So we love a good glistening and pretty eyes. So that's her big look beautiful eyes. Um, yeah and then we want to give her nice lips. So, we gotta have big poofy lips. So then, okay, it's kind of looking like a Furby right now. Um, I guess I should give her a nose. Noses are important. That'll do. Okay, so she's got a nose now. <clears throat> What other features do humans have? Oh yeah, eyebrows. 
I'm gonna give her slightly thicker eyebrows. Cause she's slay. Okay, I think I need to draw a head. All right, the only features we need now is the, the head to contain the face and then some nice tits. Okay, so, oh, she's gorgeous. So this is her head. That's her head. Give her some ears. That's not a very good ear. Can I, yeah, erase that. Fix the head up. Give her an ear. And, um, she needs hair, doesn't she? The hair is the hard part. I need to erase the head so I can do the hair again. It's kind of screwed up there, guys. Sorry about that. I haven't left much room here for hair. So I'm just going to give her a sick bangs. They go straight over her head like that. And I'll just color all this in, I guess. This is her bangs. And then she's got a bit of hair coming down here. It's pretty. She has some hair coming down here as well. All right, now. Titties, there you go. There she is. That's our gorgeous babe. What? Oh. <clears throat> shy. I gotta fucking draw a shy. I gotta draw all of them. How many of you have to draw? Okay. We gotta get through this quick, so I'm gonna do some speed drawings. Um, draw your dream date shy. Boy style with the eyes, the nose. Uh, shy. So she's got a bit of a quivery face and she's looking up at the corner there like I want to get the fuck out of here. Um, some worry lines on her head. <clears throat> and some blushes. How do you do blushes with a pencil? Little lines there. there those are blushes. So she's blushing there. Oh, I didn't put eyelashes on her. Eyelashes are an important feature to make it look like a feminine character. And then you need her tits. So that'll do. Draw your dream date sultry. Okay. Sultry is all in the mouth. So I'm going to give her some big, beautiful, sultry, pouty lips. Big old frown right there. And give her the eyes. So she's not too happy here. And she's got the the lines on her forehead as well. <clears throat> and now she's getting angry. It's anger's all in the eyebrows. So she's got the big old angry eyebrows coming down like this. And she's angry, she's mad, she's having, she's steaming out the ears, guys. I'm gonna have to draw that as well, I need to draw that steam. I didn't think there'd be this much drawing in this game, so I apologize if this is, uh, if we do, it takes too long to get to the actual game. So I'm gonna draw her eyes like this. And her eyes are in the middle there. And then she's real angry, she's, ah. But this time I'm going to open it, uh, uh, draw her with her mouth open a bit so I can draw her angry teeth. Um, I'll just give her two at the top. And what else do angry people have? They have this and a nose and anger lines. Angry people get anger lines every now and then and then you need that. All right, easy, easy done. Let's keep going. Um, all right, we're gonna get to, ooh, ooh. she's looking a little um, shy. 
Nice tits though. Hello. Hi. Thanks for making me. No worries, dude. You're welcome. I didn't have much choice. Do you know how I can leave this place? Okay, so we're a little bit uh, captive here, but that's okay. You want to leave? So soon after making me? Yes. Oh, you hate me, don't you? No. <clears throat> of course not. I don't hate you at all. I just need to get back to my own world. Hold on a second. Volume's a little loud. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Should be alright. Uh, blah blah blah. Whoa, she's angry now. Uh, I see, well, I'm sure you just have a ton of dates lined up in the real world, don't you? You bet I do, babe. I mean, no, I don't see that. Blah, 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 blah. Now she's sad, very good. Now she's angry. Get fuck this bitch because it's angry all the time. Hey. <laughs> So what will it be, big shot? Oof, babin. Should I stay? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I suppose I could stay here a bit longer, especially if it means you and I could, you know. Yes. Oh, you know. Draw a nice, um, floppy pussy on you. Um, date. Bingo, yes, I'd love to go on a date. Yep, let's play some bingo then. Oh, here we are. We're on a date. Where are we exactly? Blah, 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 blah. Draw a waiter. Okay, we're going to draw a snooty French waiter. So the thing about being snooty is the mouth. And the nose. The nose is up as well. Everything is up. That's how you be snooty. That's his eye. And then he's got a tie. Yeah, that's a waiter. And then he has a waiter's hat on. I'll be your waiter, ma'am. And then he has a, um, a little hand here. Where he's holding a plate. A steaming plate. So that's our waiter. Hello! Oh, he just called me good looking. How, how nice of him. How can I get for you? Good looking? I believe he was talking to me, babe. <clears throat> I said draw us a waiter, not a flirt. You just can't help but draw beautiful people who like you, huh? Oh, I see. He was talking to me. Yeah, that's right. Favorite fruit? We would like a moment alone. I want to ask him what my favorite fruit is. Uh, favorite fruit, please. Oh, he's going to serve me my favorite fruit. That's nice. Neither, nothing but the finest cuisine for me. A mango. Very good. Nice move. I really feel like my concerns were addressed. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. I probably should have drawn you more attractive because I'm not really uh, feeling this date right now. Um, don't you understand subtext? Not really. I'm sorry, I guess I don't know what I'm doing. I've never been on a date with someone before. Yep. This is turning out really uh, not fun. Not very, not a very nice date. I'm kind of uninterested in this person. I guess we're starting over. All right. I can't be bothered reading that. Finally the night came to an end and we parted ways. I drew myself up an apartment to stay the night in and slept like a baby. In the comfiest bed I could imagine, literally. I think I could get used to this place. We're still going? Oh, this person's back. How was your first day in Doodle World? It was alright. Say no more, I can tell by your tired expression it went great. Uh, what time is it? How did you get in here? Time to get up. Sleep. Who is this person and why is she talking to me? It's never too early to spend time with the love of your life. How are you sure? Because you created them as such, silly. I mean, I created you too, right? Ooh, there's a little bit of flirtation going on between these two. I mean, me and this chick. I think that's where the real romance is. Uh, forget the other bitch. 
uh, the other lady, <clears throat> the other fine, handsome lady. It's getting a little romantic in here. Not this fucking. Draw nice clothes to wear. Alright. So, what am I gonna wear? I'm gonna wear. Um. Okay, so first I need the. Um, uh, okay. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a nice. <clears throat> Like this. So this is a nice Margella double breasted coat. With um, some supreme pants. I got my bulge there. But I need sleeves, don't I? Yeah, sleeves are important. Uh, so that's pretty good. And then I'm going to need my collared shirt. Then <laughs> I guess that's a collar. Yeah. And... A purse. A nice Prada bag. P for Prada. That looks good. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Those look like shit, apparently. Really... Really uh, hurt my feelings there. This game's been nothing but a disappointment. They're hurting my feelings and they're being mean to me. And I'm not having fun time dating right now. <clears throat> okay. This has turned into a horror game. Hey there, somebody wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Yeah, hey, hey. Yada yada yada. Ugh. Had fun with you last night. Yeah, me too. Did you? I don't think she did. She kind of... She's kind of a bitch. So what do you want to do? Let's uh, sit and chill. Sounds nice. Sketchy sat down on a nearby angular S design I had repeatedly drawn in my middle school days. An angular S design, you say. Interesting. Blah blah blah. So she can't stop thinking about me. I guess I made a pretty good impression on her uh, the other night. You think something is wrong with me? Perhaps. Pretty heavy. On the other hand, you're really cute. That's true. Whoa! We're getting lewd here, guys. She's reached out to hold my hand. They smiled at me as they clasped down. Do you think I'm cute? You're more than cute. I think you're beautiful. Gorgeous. You are by far the most amazing person I have ever laid eyes on. That's the truth. Why is she so sad? Sketchy was silent as they looked at me in a way I'd never seen before. Suddenly, before I could react, Sketchy had grabbed me and pressed their graphite mouth against mine. Graphite? Smooch! Did she say smooch? I think she just yelled smooch in my mouth. <clears throat> so she's engulfing me with sensual energy right now, and I'm taken aback and instinctively held their body against mine. I don't think she has a body, she's just a face at the moment. Oh wait, this is sultry, isn't it? Yeah, it's sultry. Um, ahem. She's whipping her tits out. What's the rush, dude? I see. So she's leaving. You think 
I can feel her phantom kiss. I'm starting to like this place, guys. This bitch again. Date went great. Better than fucking you. Better than you. Chikaju is a fucking babe and you're a meanie. Ah, oh, she's jealous. Aha, another romance. I want you to find your true love, and your true love is obviously your dream date. Sketchy, after all. Is it, though? But what if I love you? I mean, what if my true love is you, Claire? And after all, you're the one who brought me here. And, I don't know. Things are sketchy art set in stone, you know? We're still figuring out what we are. Show me them titties. That's crazy talk, creator. It's so crazy, Claire. After, oh, is it so crazy, Claire? This is me talking right now. After all, you do keep showing up in my room. Don't you feel the same way? Really putting my heart on my sleeve here, guys. If she rejects me right now, I might cry on camera. <clears throat> I, I, oh the hell with it. Claire suddenly threw herself upon me, kissing me passionately for a brief moment before pulling herself away. Oh my, I shouldn't have done that. No, Claire, it's okay. You should have done. Alright, she's mine. I started to sweat as Claire laid down on my bed. All right, now we're getting to some hot action. She's got her eyebrow raised up and shit. She's ready for a fucking uh, good hard dicking. Draw sexy Claire. Oh fuck, I gotta draw it from memory. Um, okay, so she had a head. She had hair. She came out like this. Um, it was very pretty and stuff. And she had eyes. And she had that, uh... She had those lips. She had, she had big, smoochy lips. And then she uh, had shoulders, I think. And she had big old titties, like this. But she's wearing a brassiere here. Guys, we don't, we don't, we're not uh, getting her naked just yet. We're just putting on a brassiere. Her body can be like this, and then she's got her um, sexy lingerie, uh, and her uh, navel there. Got a nice midriff. She's got um, like abs and shit, and titty lines. Pretty sexy, gotta say. Let's get in there. I stood back and looked at Claire's newfound body. I shuddered and dropped a sweat of dripper. <laughs> a sweat dripper down my foot. Okay, we're getting real sexy here now, guys. Let's go in. It was so hot. I jumped into the bed for Claire and we began to touch one another's bodies in a way I'd never experienced before. Nice. My hands, my lips, my body. All shared with Claire's interchanging, intermingling. Is the trance music necessary? Is this music that you have hot steamy sex to? Romantic sex to? Is this romantic music? It was both thrilling and terrifying, but throughout the night our explorations continued. Was I doing the right thing? I had no idea, but I didn't care. Me. I don't remember when we fell asleep, but eventually I woke up, and the next morning, uh, the next morning, to the sound of Claire's voice. Oh no, sexy Claire's going. Good morning, sunshine. Uh, not really interested anymore. You sure that asked that a lot? It's worth noting there's no real scale for time here. The no I don't give a fuck about that. Um, 
I don't know if I'm recording. I've got other games to play here, guys. I've been going 25 minutes. I think we can go a little bit longer here. Oh, she made me breakfast. Good. Doodled eggs, sausages, bacon, and waffles. Smells heavenly. Do I get to draw it? Knock at the door. Um, uh oh. Oh no. What have I done? No, sketchy. Hey. Oh no, what have I done? I'm sorry, Sketchy. It's not what it looks like. It was a mistake. I have to tell Sketchy the truth. I don't think we can go out anymore, Sketchy. Oh yeah, this is the Sketchy I, uh, I accidentally clicked past and I didn't get to draw a Sketchy here, so... This is the Sketchy, just expressionless. What? Oh, she's blaming herself already. No. I don't like this. This is a sad game. What about you? I just, I think I might have feelings for someone is all. Whoa, she's angry now. You think? Well, that's interesting because I based out, because based on our kiss yesterday, I would think you had feelings for me. That's true. I did kind of kiss her and then kiss the other woman. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a slut like that. Actually, I shouldn't say slut. I'm a bit of a promiscuous thing. It's complicated is all. I have feelings for you both. I'm like Bella from Twilight. This is sad. So then that's it. You're throwing me to the wayside. Someone else catches your attention and so we're done. It's a harsh way of putting it. I mean, I was thinking we could still be... I don't want to really be friends with her, to be honest. Don't feed me that shit, I wasn't born yesterday. Haha, -ha, she made a joke there, because she was born yesterday. Oh wait, the day before? Goodbye, Sketchy. It was nice knowing you. I gave you existence, and now I let you free. Farewell. Shall we eat? Yes, let's go eat something. I'm kind of over this chick. I kind of want to get back to the dating game, to be honest. I'm going to do that. Um, ba 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 ba. Something started to happen. I know, as the weeks pass, something's happening. We're growing distant. She's asking me something. What is it, baby? Babe? Do I look different to you? I oh, know, she's fucking pregnant. I don't notice anything different. What do you mean? Dr. Doodle's dapper doodler test, and it came up positive. Uh-oh. 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 Dodged a bullet there. Anyway, that was uh, that game. Um, I'm going back to the dating game. Um, you know, uh, commitment isn't really for me. Uh, so I'm just going to pause this video right now and then boot up the next game for your entertainment, guys. Stay tuned. All right, lads, we're back. Let's get dating again. I'm single and ready to mingle. I don't mean that, pillow wife. We're still the hottest couple on, on the internet. Hello there. You must be here for speed dating. Yes I am, thank you for noticing. My name's Fran. Hello, you look like a Fran. I run this little operation. Nice to meet you, Fran. Nice, you're a nice one, yeah, thank you. 
We got all kinds of ghosts here. Hmm, spooky. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. They got all varieties here, guys. It gets lonely being a ghost. Oh, I guess I'm a ghost. It has been pretty difficult being a ghost. Wonderful. Let's get started. We've got three rooms set up, each with their own super fun themes. I think, am I blocking this? I don't know. Maybe I am. Uh, and sit at a table, and then what? Uh, makes sense. Let's go. Other ghosts. What's that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's just get straight into it. I don't need. Okay. A bell rings from somewhere. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. In all, you'll meet three ghosts. Only three? Is that all? Over two rounds. Oh. Now at the end, you get to choose your favorite. Yay! This sounds fun. I like choosing. If they like you too, you go on a date. Yay! Sounds good. I can't wait. Neither can I. Let's go gamers. Let's get ourselves a nice spooky ghost date. Who's my first date? I'm nervous and excited. Let's choose a room. Room of black, room of liars, room of palms. Um, let's go room of liars, shall we? Get some nice music going. Bling, romantic stuffs. The room of liars looks like a bit like a conference hall. That doesn't sound nice. The kind you might see in a hotel, airport hotel. Ooh, nice, fancy. Um, regional managers, very good. Followed by some couples, 65th anniversary. Ah, oh, sounds very nice. We've got some balloons. Okay, I don't need that big of a description of the place. I get it. Just fucking give me my, my date. I want a date. I'm here for dates. Ghosts don't need coffee. Good to know. Our particularly nervous ghost is holding a cup anyway. Some habits never die. Alright, let's go. The bell rings and a ghost appears. Aww. He's spooked. Hello. A ghost. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to move myself over here and make myself bigger. And we're going to get back into it. Of course you're a ghost. We all are. Yep. Good observation, dude. <clears throat> um, I'm not used to it either, dude. Nothing prepares you for this life. That's sad. This guy's not having a good time. He's a little bit worried all the time. But he does have horns, so that's kind of interesting. Why does he have horns? Was he a goat? Is he in hell? Oh no, he can't do that anymore. How about you take up a mantra or something, dude? You can talk, obviously. Uh, take it one step at a time, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm known as a pretty funny guy. Ugh, this person just whines all the time. I don't want to fucking date you, dude. You're just a big bundle of fucking anxieties and it fucking puts me off. I'm not even listening to you at this point. Uh, that sounds awful, dude. Yeah, I'm sure. This is not a good date, dude. I need an out. Mm-hmm. Cool, dude. Yep. These are the kinds of things you want to say on a first date. This is a good example of not what of what not to do on a first date, guys. You don't want to be this person, because you don't get fucking. Uh, um, uh, catches like me if you act like this person. This guy person's got issues and you want to deal with your personal issues first before you start um, dating other people. Unless you find an opportunity and someone like betters you and stuff or whatever then that's okay but if you're on a speed dating thing and you're acting like this, no, not gonna happen. Um, I don't know, oh, how did you get out? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Pull yourself out. It's cool. Mm -hmm. 
And he's shouting on the day. Oh, the bell rings. Oh, he's nervous for the bell. Yeah, it was the bell, right? Yeah. No, we won't. I don't think I'm ever going to talk to you ever again. Um, see you, dude. Yikes. Big yikes on that guy. Let's hope... Ooh. This guy is pretty studly. Well, look what we have here. <clears throat> uh, the ghost's voice creaks like ancient wood. The name's Spooky Peter. He tips his hat. Might move down here. For Spooky... For What's his name? Spooky Peter? He, uh, he tips his hat. Dust spills off the brim. So he's a dusty boy. How do you do? He's a bit of a, a, a nice guy. I do okay. Alright, this guy's a bit of a fedora tipper, to be honest. We got another fucking loser. Why am I getting all these fucking losers, dude? Am I not a fucking catch? Do I deserve this fedora tipper here? I mean, maybe he's a nice guy, but he seems kind of uh, aloof. Uh, I'm not scared of you. You're a beta boy. Don't be lying to me. I can tell when someone's lying. I've been doing this a while. My record of hauntings. This guy haunts. 1665. I thought the plague was earlier. I, I didn't think that. You've seen a lot. History happened. History did happen. This guy knows his shit. He must have been there. Wars, yep, wars happened. Revolutions, yep, war, revolutions happened. Revolutionary wars happened. Mostly I read about these things. Yeah, reading, reading's generally the way you find out about them. Mm -hmm. Spooking and scaring. Gone pretty good at it. Even been in books. Nice. Nice. He doesn't ask me any questions about myself and He's just kind of rambling, so he's obviously not a good listener. Um, are you the devil? Just one of his helpers. Oh, this guy's a fucking edgy loser. Potential. I'm not like that, dude. I'm not, I don't swing your way. I have means, sure. But do I have desires? You're a weird dude, my dude. Not in the good way. I'm getting loser after loser. Can I, can this end? Uh, to each their own, yep. Uh, uh, I'll pass. I don't want your advice, dude. You're kind of a loser. Yep, okay. See you, dude. Yep, see ya. Where's that bell, dude? I'm fucking... Yeah, we'll just sit here till the bell rings. Okay, good. See you, dude. Mm -hmm. He doesn't shut up, does he? Come on, dude. Get this fedora loser out of here and give me a chad. Give me a stud. Another ghost appears. Here we go. Hoping this is a good one. Because we're kind of cute. I like him. Want to make some money. I like this guy. Uh, maybe? It's a yes or a no. How though? Not so far. Oh, he's got secrets. I like this guy. Let me feel this out first. <laughs> you could be a narc. Oh, no. I'm not a narc. It's exactly what narcs say. Fuck. God damn it, he's on to me. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. I'm just fooling. Oh, he's a funny guy. No narc would dress like that. Yeah, exactly. Dress like how? To, uh, dress like how? Like your dress. Ah, oh, okay. Anyway, you're alright. Yeah, I am. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Offer stands. Money can be made. Um, this is a singles mixer. Do ghosts even need money? Those are two shitty, shitty statements or questions, and I wouldn't say that. I'd say... Um, I'll just remind him that this is a singles mixer. Yes, it certainly is. 
and this guy single and hot and I'm looking for eligible well accomplices the name's Leon Ooh, smooth ah he robs banks nice to meet you Leon ah that's it I got friend zone I got uh, bank heist um, partner zone uh, but I want to rob banks I want to date you Leon you're a catch I'm serious uh, this this isn't good no one gonna... <laughs> I got confidence at least. What's more exciting than robbing a bank, guys? Dating Leon, I suppose. Hmm, I'd like to know more first. Oh. Uh -huh. See Leon. I don't know, guys. Three ghosts down, and I just I didn't. Uh, uh, Leon was cute, but he doesn't seem like he's interested in me. Leon's not a creep. Sorry, dudes. Just adjusting. There's a little bit, a little bit of editing there. I don't care. Oh, I gotta go for another fucking date with this guy. Spooky Peter has been around. No need to be sorry. Yeah, of course you are. You fucking loser. I bet. I don't want to say either of these things. I guess you're not so bad, Kyo. You and I aren't so different. But you need to fucking get your shit together before you come and date me. Um, he said I had potential. Yes, he did. Yeah, I'm not really interested in this person. I'm just kind of uh, making small talk until he goes away. I need to get Leon to be interested in me. That's my that's my quest. That's my goal in this video. My favorite movie. What's your life? Ha 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 ha. That was a funny joke I just did there, I guess. Oh my god, I don't care, dude. Get this date over with. No. Ah, it's too long. This is terrible. I'm having a terrible time. Somebody get me out of here. Ah, the bell rings, finally. Get out of here, dude. Yep, waste of time indeed. Fuck off. Fuck off, dude. I'll smash ya. Not the fucking fedora guy again. What spooks Spooky Peter? Not much. Though I will say, I ain't so fond of beasts. Beasts? <coughs> what kind of beasts? The domesticates. Hounds. Feline. Ah, you're scared of cats. This guy's boring as well. Something rattling around in there. Are you okay? Pay the rattle no mind, I died with it. Ah, it's a death rattle, it's a heavy smoker. You ever been to the mirror world? 
No, I haven't. What's that? The place beyond this, but the same as this. Ah, like a mirror. You've seen it, but always looking in it, like a mirror. Get out of here, Fedora dude. Make sure you give me a tip on the way out. If I find time. I bet you can. Get out of here. All right, here we go. Leon's coming back. Make sure I look good. Ooh, 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 ooh. <clears throat> Hello again, Leon. Still thinking I'm in trouble? <laughs> uh, I don't know you well enough yet. This uh, I keep turning down my fucking advances. Mm. He came to find associates for criminal activities. I'm a little too big here, aren't I, guys? A little too too much vanity. I'm looking for I'm not looking for friends. What if someone hears you? I might as well hear you out. Oh, is there no way to be Leon's fucking lover? Yeah, show me. Leon pulls out some graphing paper. Okay, so he's drawing the layout out. He probably didn't so, need so much detail. He's, he's, he's good with details. Since we're going in the front door, I just figured it's best to be prepared. Wait, does this mean you're interested? No promises yet. Hey, it's something. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna um, lead this guy on a little bit. Make him think like I want to rob a bank with him, but we're gonna form a, a hot romance. Uh, we got company. So then I says to the priest, what are you talking about over here? Oh, hey, Fran, fucking cock blocker. How's it going? We've had complaints, Leon. <laughs> He's just looking for love, just like all the other ghosts. I hope he is. Like, she'll see the truth in my eye. All right, fine. She's watching us. Ooh, I'm gonna get in trouble here. I don't wanna get in trouble. Leon, you're a bad boy. That was a close one. No worries, dude. We're gonna be rich. I don't need the money. Yeah, the thrill, dude. Ooh, bad boy. Switched to stealing beer at 14, stole my first car a year later. Nice. I hit up convenience stores, drive-ins, even held up a laundromat once. I threw my back out, carrying all those quarters. <laughs> Did you ever get caught, Leon? Three or four went bad? Oh, that's not good. I was in and out of jail, but wasn't anything serious. Okay, so this guy's a jailhouse dude. Hmm. Call me after five. I spent the rest of my life behind bars. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's a ghost. He's dead. How did you die? Prison's a hard place. Oh, I see. Especially when no one trusts you. Yeah. See? Oh, that's nice. He learned honesty from a dishonest life. That's pretty sweet. I like Leon. He's a sweet guy. Oh, no, not the bell. That's our time. Help him out, turn him down, or turn him in. I don't know, dude. I don't think Leon's really interested in me. I don't want to turn him in or anything. I don't really want to rob a bank. Let's help him out. Fuck it. Let's rob this bank. I don't care. I'm a, I'm a girl in love, and I want to rob a bank with my, my new boyfriend, Leon. Yay. Choose your date, Leon. All right. Exciting, guys. I think we go on a date this time. I guess it's time to rob a bank. All right, I'm gonna pause it right here, and we'll be right. Back. Let us continue, guys. <clears throat> I've got my first date. Exciting. 
Uh, I've dolled myself up, got my makeup done, got my hair done. I'm looking good and ready to go on a date with Leon. Leon said to meet him in front of the Mortal Trust on the 4th. Like the name suggests, this is a bank for the living. Once they've noticed you've been, they've been robbed, they shouldn't suspect the dead. Hopefully, that's true. They might, I might get arrested. Oh, okay. Le Le Leon is as nervous as me. I wonder if it's for the same reasons. The others are supposed to be here. Maybe they're just late. We're down a lookout and our other guy on the inside. That's not good. What's my role? You'll be coming with me. Sweet. I'm got, I get some alone time with Leon. Need my, my, my hands full and my mouth shut. Uh, kind of hot, I guess. Sorry, guys. Here comes... Well, who's this guy? I want you guys to be able to see this guy. Uh oh, maybe here. This is Carl's band, our token breather. No offense, none taken. All right, this guy doesn't take much offense. I'm just happy you ghosts want to hang out. That's nice. Ah, oh, he's alive. Uh, nice get up. Thanks. It's so nobody recognizes me. Yeah, that's generally what that's for. I can't just go invisible like you. True. This guy's gonna get fucked. He's been manipulated by ghosts. He's a teller at the bank. Oh my gosh. I know the combo to the safe and where the cameras are pointed. Uh, why rob your own bank? I hate them. Yeah, good good reason, dude. Fuck them. They need to pay. Yeah. Fuck the bank. Uh, are they shady? Is your salary not enough? Is your boss mean? It's good questions. Is your salary not enough? Their wages are not bad at all. Competitive. Ooh, nice. Even generous. And don't get me started with the benefits. Okay, so that's a pretty nice, pretty nice wages. Sounds like a good place to work. Then why rob them? They wouldn't give me a loan. Oh. Why wouldn't they give you a for my vapes? Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, they are jerks. This guy should open. This guy would be a pro vape store guy. He's living the dream, dude. I like him. The vape dream. Fuck yeah. Living that dream. All banks are bad. Yep. Satan is in suits. Yep. No offense. None taken. None taken. And speak of the devil. Who's. Ah, oh, not this fucking guy. God damn it. Spooky Peter. Why am I not surprised? We met in the room of Leah's. Ah, uh, she went to a different room. I would have got better people who would be more interested in me. Same as you. When I told him I robbed banks, he immediately said he was in. Before I even. This guy's dating two people at the same time. He's taken two people out for the one date. I feel betrayed. He doesn't like me at all. And he's fucking leading me on. And he's inviting the fucking fedora guy. Fuck you, Leon. I should have tucked and turned you in. You're a bitch. What? What do you want, dude? Who's Winston? The security guard. I don't want to do this anymore. I feel I feel like a fool. I was tricked into this. And these two are just having a conversation between the two of them. Let's get this train rolling. No, fuck you. Kyle pulls out some keys and locks the front door. Though alive, he's already proving useful. Inside the bank is dimly lit. It's eerily quiet at night. The most place is busy. Like most places, busy in the daytime. Spooky Peter disappears into the shadows by the door. 
Carl and Leon makes a beeline for the back. Carl hops over the counter like he's in some heist flick. Leon floats right through. Very descriptive. You catch up to them around the corner by a heavy looking door. This is the vault. Can't we just go through it? Of course we can. We can't get the money out. That's true. We still need to open the door. That's where I come in. Let's do this. Yeah, you go do that, dude. Thanks, Carl. I don't even remember the code. This guy's fucking useless. I should have known by his fucking wispy mustache. This guy's a stoner loser. And the vape store dreams? Stoner loser. He doesn't remember the fucking code. This whole thing's a fucking bust. I'm fucking here with these fucking losers. I've got the fedora guy, I've got fucking stoner Carl, and I've got fucking hot stuff Leon who's not showing any interest in me at all. This sucks. This is a shitty dating game. This is a shitty date. Fuck. <sighs> I didn't read any of that. Sorry guys, so you can read it. Carl, buddy, pal, you know what they say about honor and thieves. He doesn't. Then we're good. Just open the door. Alright, we're in. That's it. Where's the money? Ugh, he didn't do his research. This guy's a shitty heist dude. It doesn't work like that. What? What do you mean? Should have cased the place yourself. Yeah, you should have, fucking loser. I'm gonna open 7F. What's in it? Inside are some antique coins. Ooh, they look like they might have some value. Someone could be hanging onto them for sentimental reasons, though. That's true. You look over at Leon. My box is empty. Nothing but a business card. Why would you have a business card in your box? Yeah, you probably should have. Ha, uh, Leon, you can have the coins. You can't leave empty handed. Yeah, it was all your idea. I'm just here for fun. Hey, he's got love hearts above his head. I'm wooing Leon. See? I'm a fucking bet. Yeah, get out of here, dude. Yeah, fuck, nobody cares about your stupid fedora. I'm wooing. Uh oh, fucking coppers are here. Let's get the fuck out. We better scramble. Everyone makes it out safe thanks to Spooky Peter's keen eye. Leon instructs the crew to lie, lay, lie, 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 should be lay low, wouldn't you know? Lie low for a bit. Really, only Carl needs to worry. Yep, fuck Carl. Good job in there. Thanks, dude. Things might have gone differently if you let Carl fiddle with the cameras. It wasn't the greatest haul. But hey, how many ghosts can say they robbed a bank? True. Was that my date? Is that it? Oh. Well, I guess that was that, guys. Didn't exactly uh, get the result we were hoping for, but I think Leon's coming around. Maybe if I hang out with him a little longer, he can get to know me a bit better. And things will pick up. Maybe. Who knows? I think this year was a bit unsuccessful, but um, maybe next year, dude. Next Valentine's Day, uh, aka Hug a Cow Day. Make sure you go out and hug a cow. It is um, uh, spiritually gratifying. So thanks for watching, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're all having a big, smoochy, romantic day with your... Um, your significant other or your pillow. So, um, 
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. You know the drill. And let's let's get romantic, guys. Uh, Valentine's Day is probably one of the most underrated. Um, uh, it's not a holiday, is it? It's like a one of the most underrated days. You know, everyone loves Christmas and Halloween, but who loves Valentine's Day? Me. I think it's neat. I like it. So have fun and uh, stay in love. See you guys.